Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So today we will talk to our friend Etrigan. Uh, the next uh, mission in our quest line will be Beyond Rhyme or Reason. And it's a level 30 mission, so my guess is we're pretty much done with the... We're pretty much reaching the end of the main uh, the main quest. So let's talk to Etrigan. Mortal, heed me and heed me well. I am Etrigan, Prince of Hell. The Limbo Realm is under attack by the foul being called Brainiac. There is one last door to Limbo Land. It's hidden beneath the CAO Dam. I will cast a final spell and meet you there to unleash hell. So let's complete the mission. Oh, my champion. Etrigan can be trusted to guide you, if only in this. Limbo is the realm where forgotten souls wait for judgment. Should it fall, Brainiac will leap from this realm to another, soon destroying them all. You must defeat him and keep magic in our hands. So let's go to Metropolis and let's warp directly there. So we've pretty much uh, reached the end of the main mission, if I'm not mistaken. Could have sworn we would end uh, fighting the Spectre. But I guess uh, not with this mentor. And uh, it doesn't really matter if you if you did reach level 30 or not. Once you're pretty much done with the, the main quest, you will pretty much go auto automatically to level 30 anyway. Like this is the area where I thought uh, we would find a whole bunch of uh, ghosts and uh, we would end up uh, fighting the Spectre in that the building. But I guess not with this mentor. I've played those missions uh, hundreds of times by now and uh, with uh, a lot of characters, so it kind of mushes into uh, one memory, sort of. So we have to go all the way to the end of uh, Metropolis. I guess it's not somewhere we went uh, already with this character. I'll take a quick look at the map. So you can see we're way uh, almost at, at the end uh, of, the, of Metropolis. And I think I have a lair or two in this area. Run if you can from Etrigan. Well met, warrior. We shall be friends. So long as you serve Etrigan. These wormholes are truly tragic. They are Brainiac eating magic. Destroy those holes, block his greed, and then we'll make the robots bleed. Ah, that's crazy talk, as if robots can bleed. Well, let's pick up the investigation while we can. Blood Priest Chronicle. The Clawing Shade is drawn to the You battle well, mighty portal. Now step aside and I'll curse the portal. Don't delay! Come through the door, or Limbo will be never born. Through the travel sequence, succeed. Initiate interdimensional security sequence. So let's wait for our friend Etrigan to do his thing. Curse and blast! It is too late! Brainiac earns my eternal hate! This goes beyond the merely tragic. He has blocked me with stolen magic. Wait! I will create lying gods meant to fool his metal eyes for the 
There surely is no spell that can prevent the wrath of hell! Attempting capturing local magic base initiating the destruction sequence. I'm not sure why we couldn't target all our friend here. Ah. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to defeat those first. Let's pick up a rock. Stay on target. Dimensional barrier structure penetrated. Begin digitization. It is our job to watch and wait. Presence of magic based life form not required. Gold spindle. Let's get rid of those portals here. Wormholes, I should say. Almost there. Let's make sure we cleared out everything before we continue. I guess we're good to go. Oh, that's what I was looking for. I'm Jack Ryder, and you are wrong. You think heroes and villains don't hang out? You think they don't call a truce over a brewski and swap war stories? Well, friend, let me tell you about the Oblivion Bar, where magical mooks hang out sipping Eye of Newton, Tongue of Bat. Don't believe me? Think it can't be real? Well, friend, then you are wrong. ...begins to seal the portal. One last guardian guards the way. Defeat him and save the day. I am the last guardian of Limbo, servant to Brainiac. Trespass on this realm and must be destroyed. Unless you wish to die, duck those blows. Try. You dance upon the edge of hell. Sealed the gate. 
Now he is free to plunder. The Shadowlands will be torn asunder. We must find the Oblivion Bar. It holds doors to near and far. We must hurry. Quick, make haste. Before Brainiac lays the Shadowlands to waste. May the seven hells of Hades consume this monster. With his interference, the very ley lines of magic are shifting. There is only one safe way now to follow and defeat him. The Oblivion Bar. Its magic is transpatial and hopefully beyond even Brainiac's reach. For now. So let's pick up the investigation. Blood Priest Chronicle. Skittering dusks are rather difficult to catch. What with nasty snapping beaks. Both of them. So in case this is your first video with us, uh, there's a treasure chest like this one spread out throughout the various missions. So you have to find those treasure chests and break them open. Uh, sometimes you'll get a little reward that you can actually use in those uh, little chests. Well, we have a nice uh, neck piece for us. Uh, but also there are feats attached to those chests. So when you destroy five chests, ten chests, uh, the, the top feat is a thousand chests. So every time you see one of those chests, break it open and you'll work your way towards that the one thousand uh, chest feat. So let's get out of here. So let us, uh, I guess we have to complete the mission. This demon of wires and steel is determined to turn all magic into cold logic. And now he enters the Shadowlands. Etrigan will show you the way, but he can no longer aid you. I will use the darkest of my magics to meet you there, and we will destroy Brainiac together. So we saw the Oblivion Bar uh, at least a few times in this show. We saw it uh, in the Artifact mission. When we have to help our friend uh, Constantine with the Artifact mission. Uh, we saw it also... Um, in the Justice League Dark DLC, we do have a duo where we go to the Oblivion Bar. So now, let us go there. So technically, this was like this is the first time that we went to the Oblivion Bar with this mission. It's always a bit strange to, uh, at some point, you get used to a mission. Like we got used to this mission with either the Artifact mission or the Justice League Dark mission. But uh, coming back to the original version of that mission is always a bit uh, strange after that. Do not delay, champion mortal. Follow me to the next portal. Brainiac has chosen to make his stand in the dark and dismal Shadowlands. Beat him here, and he will fall. Fail, and he'll destroy us all. They've also turned this mission into a duo at some point, a tier two, uh, a tier four duo. Uh, let's take a quick look around. We haven't seen that version in a while. So here's our friend, uh, Brother Blood. Trigon himself has entered this plane. He must rise. Are you the one fated to stop Brainiac's invasion of these magical realms? I guess we are. There's Donna Troy here, and we can see they, they gave her our latest look. And there's a, the evil Cheetah as well. Diana fights in the Shadowlands, and I cannot follow to assist her. Don't underestimate what you may find in the Shadowlands. When you meet Brainiac, scratch his eyes out for me. Uh, there's Wonder Girl here. I just found out my father's a god. And now all of magic might get eaten by a giant robot brain from space. The word bummer comes to mind. Uh, there's our friend uh, Solomon Grundy. Brainiac want to take magic from Grundy. Grundy can't stop him. So Grundy sit at bar all day. And the way over here, we have our friend Shazam. He did remain uh, as Captain Marvel for quite Brainiac a while in the game. Brainiac has invaded Limbo in the Shadowlands. Each magical land leads to another. Will the Rock of Eternity be next? 
Okay, enough stalling. Let us continue. So our friend Etrigan opened the portal here. Let's pick up the investigation. Blood Priest Chronicle. If you aren't careful, liquid murk will slip right through your fingers. There is a feat for clicking on those stones uh, within, uh, I think it's in w within less than a minute. Magic based light portal will not require. Search for magic and signal digitized for containment. Damage. Magic anomaly data collection halted. So the best option to be able to get that feat, uh, clear out the tunnel, and then once all the enemies are cleared out, then click on those uh, those stones. There's nothing stopping us from picking up their briefings. Oh, and there's a little uh, treasure chesty. Lane for Daily Planet Live. The first results of Brainiac's attacks on the magical realms were seen here in Metropolis, where Madame Xanadu's magic shop is closing its doors until the crisis has passed. According to the chain owner, Madame Xanadu, the magical artifacts were seen weeping and crying out in pain, creating a negative atmosphere for customers and shop staff alike. Blood Priest Chronicle. The heartbeat of the tenebrous shadow is like the pulsing mist of a slow dawn. Ah, let's go, Shazam! No, we didn't really have to, but too often I end up not using it. So I uh, as well use it now. Magician, my warrior, I leave this message for you. We cannot let this thing of wires and metal, this brainiac, destroy all magic. These realms belong under my will. But there is no truth. Only force. Show brainiac our might and let magic reign. Magic anomaly data collection halted. Priority one, defeat biological entity. So we've pretty much reached the end, but before we do that, so let us click on those uh, stone thingy. Try not to forget one. And there's no way you can really mess up. Uh, worst comes to worst, you can try again. So you could replay and replay the mission uh, over and over again if you wanted to.
Almost there. So if we did not forget any... Right, there we go. So you have to click all the stones within 100 seconds or less. And I decided not especially hurry. I just uh, took the time needed. So you should be able to get it easily enough. And if you use like a, a movement like super speed, should be even better or uh, faster. Flight is very convenient, but sometimes it can be a bit uh, a bit slow. So uh, let's say. Great, Hera. What is this? The Shadow Keeper, created by the realm itself in response to Brainiac's incursion, but he has taken control of it. Then we have no choice. We must put our differences aside and stop his advance for the greater good. For the greater good. Oh no, we have no choice. So there will be a whole bunch of uh, evil Brainiac robot coming out of that portal. Uh, there's going to be various waves, uh, I forget how many. And it doesn't really matter, at the end of the day, you have you have to pretty much defeat all the waves. Almost there. Is no choice. We must destroy it. Oh no! We must. Well, if we must, we must. Yes. May this alliance be the first of many more. Ah, she's so naive. The realm of magic is safe from Brainiac. Now, on to other matters. Like your destruction, Wonder Woman. Curse oh no, is it a trap? Betrayal. Don't be a fool, Cersei. My lasso of truth can bring the falsehood even out of you. So if you ever wanted to see a Wonder Woman versus Black Adam fight, the time is now. There. I failed. The powers of evil are simply too great. Athena, save us all. So let's click on our friend Cersei. I will imbue the portals with my magic, sealing this realm to me. Guard me while I cast the spell. I seem to recall we had an option to betray. Uh, oh, there we go. What are you doing? I will be trapped in the Shadowlands for. No! No! You've made your point. You will have everything you desire, my champion. Simply release me. Oh, my champion. You have shown your true power this day. Together, the world will be no match for us. So we probably could have let her uh, close the portal, but as you saw, we Magic we were we were a bit naughty. Feeling lucky, punk. You'll need it. 
I've uncovered the penguin smuggling operation in Gotham's old subway tunnels. There's loot for the taking. If you're willing to bet that Two-Face wins this coin toss. So as you can see, once we complete this mission, we automatically become level 30. But also more than that is that you can see there's the old uh, hint or the old tip about the combat rating. So you've reached a maximum level, but you can still make your character more powerful. Combat rating or CR measures your combat effectiveness based upon your best equipment. Find and equip higher level gear to increase your combat rating in order to take on even greater challenges. So we've got it. So what this means is that DC Universe Online is basically two games into one. There's one game where you have to level up your character from level 1 to level 30. But once you do reach level 30, then your actual level become is actually your combat rating. So right now, our combat rating is a combat rating 32 because of the gear we have. So if we take a quick look at our gear. Could have sworn we got a little box or so at some point. Uh, uh, let's go for the vengeance legs because why not? So let's pick up the investigation we have left. Blood Priest Chronicle. The tentacled penumbra is not a particularly shy creature. It enjoys tugging at warm flesh with its tendrils. Now let's pick up the briefing. This is Wonder Woman. If you find this orb, take courage. Brainiac has attacked the magical dimensions, but he will fail. Magic is not about logic or order, but something far deeper that Brainiac will never understand. That is our strength. Use it. Free magic from Brainiac's tyranny, and may the truth prevail. So let's get out of here. So we probably have to complete the mission here. Uh, the chest piece is a nice uh, improvement. So the next part of the mission would be the secret society. So we'll have to go back to the Hall of Doom. I knew when I first met you on that Praniac ship that you'd do really really awesomely terrible things the society is impressed and that's not easy you're summoned to speak with your mentor in the inner sanctum of the hall of doom don't keep them waiting so let's go back to the hall of doom so we should be able to go oh there we go So we should be able to go see our friend Cersei in here. So you have the evil Joker. We have our friend Lex Luthor. And they gave him his new uh, his new gear we got when we got the Earth 3 DLC. Come closer. Your goddess beckons. As a true champion of magic, you have been granted full membership in the secret society of supervillains. Congratulations. This is only the beginning. Ah, she's so nice to us. So let's go complete the mission again. This wasn't completely unexpected with all of the mutually beneficial work you've done for us. Welcome to the society. So here we got a little tip uh, talking about the uh, on duty menu. So uh, as I mentioned, DC Universe Online is pretty much two games into one. The first game is actually you you go to your to your journal, you play the uh, the main mission until you reach level thirty, and once you reach level thirty, uh, then you no longer have well. We still have a whole bunch of, of missions we could complete uh, in our journal, as you can see. But we gain access to <clears throat> we gain access to a whole bunch of missions through the on duty menu. We already had a, a few of those missions already. Uh, 
And we got mail, so let's go pick up our mail. I'll I'll click on that console next time. Uh, next time I will I will uh, make a little video about what do you do once you reach level 30. Our friend Nick's the Black Mask already made a uh, somewhat uh, similar video, but I will approach that from a, a different perspective, uh, you could say. So we got a nice belt here. I could have sworn we were supposed to get. A little emblem. So they give us like a renowned a booster. Uh, some of you guys had some questions about that. Uh, if we go to the. So there is a renowned system that we have in this universe online. Uh, we can get renowned with like score. We can get renowned with the, the, the rogues and we can get renowned with the cult of Trigon. And that will give us access to certain uh, vendors. Uh, there's a vendor for each uh, faction in each wing of the, the Hall of Doom. Uh, here, ah, uh, come on. Here the vendor is over there, I think. There's a few vendors, so I can understand if it can get a bit uh, confusing. So here we have our friend uh, Kame, the Coveter. You can have it! I have so many wonderful things for sale. You know you want to take a look and have it all. But in order to purchase from this little guy, we need, as you can see, cooperative renown with the Cult of Trigon. Uh, we could purchase some uh, Cult of Trigon commendation. I would suggest don't do that. The other way to be able to get some of the renown would be to go to the on-duty menu. And the various missions in the on-duty menu will give you renown for the various factions. So the 8th Precinct will give you renown for the, the Cult of Trigon. The Gotham Warehouse will give you renown for the Rogues. And the Meta Research Wing will give you renown for Lexcore. Uh, the Sentinel of Magic would give you renown for the Cult of Trigon. And the Joker's Fun House for the Rogues. So the various missions will, would give you renown and the same for the Tier 2 missions and so on. And as you can see right now, we're already combat rating 43. I'm a bit surprised. Oh, okay, I got it. Let me show you a little trick. A question that often, often, often comes back is how can you go up in level faster? Uh, an easy way would be to have an item like... If you look into my shirt bank, you'll see that I have a Legion Flight Ring. Uh, that gives a boost to all my characters. Like basically the, combat, the the ring is item level... I forget. The ring is item level 283. So that gives quite a boost in the combat rating to our little uh, Black Adam friend. So even though my my current combat rating is 32, uh, thanks to the ring, my actual combat rating is 45. So one trick would be to have two flight rings into your your shared bank and then that would give quite a boost to your character and also we got a little uh, reward box that's what i was looking for a bit earlier so let's click on the little reward box and it gives you basically a full set of gear that is uh, item level 26. Uh, the reason why they do that is that it could happen that somehow as you level up your character, you still have some very low level gear. Like here, you can see our rings are still, uh, our ring is still level 21. Our belt is level 19. So we still have some fairly low level uh, gear on our character. So the game gives us pretty much a full set of gear in case that we do need uh, some upgrades. Like uh, the mask, uh, the mask is not that big of an, of an upgrade, but still. So the ring, so instead of having a level uh, 21 ring, now we have a level 26 ring. And also it gives us the new Genesis style. So for that alone, uh, that's worth it. So let's see what else. New Genesis pants. So we were able to complete the new Genesis set. 
So now our equipped combat. So we do have two combat ratings. Uh, we have the equipped combat rating, which is the actual gear our character is wearing right now. But we have the actual combat rating of our character, which in this case, again, is combat rating 46. And again, it is because we do have a Legion flight ring in our in our shared bank. Where or where can you get the Legion flight ring? Uh, technically, it's a random drop from, uh, if I recall correctly, it's from the four player Legion mission. So it's a random drop from uh, Legion uh, HQ orientation. We, it's a random drop from a Cosmic Boy in that mission, if I recall correctly. But you could also purchase the Legion Ring from the Broker. Uh, let's see how expensive it is today. Uh, so right now the Legion Flight Ring is 100 million. I'd be very tempted to buy it. Uh, 100 million is pretty much the low end of the of how much you can expect to pay for that ring. I had to buy, I had to buy quite a few of those at uh, 200 million at some point because that was that was the asking price at the time. I guess I have to give my usual broker warning. Prices on the broker changes all the time. These are the prices on the broker right now, tomorrow, next week, next month, heck, later tonight, the prices could be different. So you could decide to purchase, let's say, two Legion flight rings, put those rings into your, uh, your shared bank, and that would give a boost to not just your character, that would give a boost to all the characters on your account. Oh, and let's go pick up our mail. Oh, that's what I was looking for. So once you reach level 30, you get a, uh, a little gift, which is the emblem for the secret society. So let's equip it. Uh, let's show you the emblem, because why not? So you can see our emblem, the society. Uh, I forget how many... It does support at least two colors. And there we go. So you can see the emblem for the society. I kind of prefer the Legion of Doom emblem we just got uh, in the latest time capsule. But uh, maybe that's just me. So next time we'll take a quick look at what do you do once you reach level 30? What can you do with your character to try to upgrade it at least a little bit more once you reach level 30? We already took a look at some of the vendors required right now. So that would be a first step. So we'll take a look at that next time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point, so if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are I already made a video that answered your question. Or click one of the videos that you see on your screen right now. Bye-bye.